everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. I've been down sick. Excuse me, so I will have to apologize for my current look. Even though I'm wearing Death Wish merch. Yes, I am. Fresh to death. That's Death Wish. Yes, it is. Um, not a sponsor. But here's the thing. Okay. They want to change the settings for starting today, and then they send out a late statement. Okay, here, here's my thing. If you're a parent, and you have kids, and you're letting your kids on YouTube, put them on YouTube Kids, plain and simple. There you go. There you go. My content is not for your children all the time. Bye. I'm not leaving YouTube. I'm just saying that I'm not leaving YouTube. Um, I know YouTube creators that put their kids in videos, but their videos aren't made for kids. And these kids that lie about their age and come on to watch our videos, well, guess what? You're messing it up for the creators. Okay? My videos are not made for you. I don't care if I teach. My videos are not made for you. My videos are made to teach adults how to knit, crochet, and sew. Teach you what I know about keeping myself healthy. Give some recipes, okay? Have adult conversation. Show some soap and bath bombs and lotions and lip care products. Okay, those are not necessarily kid content. That That's not kid content. I get stuff from Sin City Soaps and Candles. It's called Sin City Soaps and Candles. Okay, those Wayne and Nicole are my friends. Okay, the brand that they are is not, you know, even though they make kids' soaps and they make kids' uh, bath bombs with toys inside of it, well, maybe they don't want all this, this hubbub going on for them either, you know? I, I'm just saying, maybe they don't want that going on for them either trying to find my lip balm here. I've been using one of the lip balms while I've been down sick. What did I do with it? Anyway, it's probably in my jacket. Um, but I have been using one of the lip balms while I've been down sick. Uh, and it's been helping me greatly because I have not had chapped lips with the candy apple. I've been using the candy apple Oh, in a note on products from Sin City Soap and Candles, the Eucalyptus Spearmint. I don't have any Vicks, so I used a little bit of the Eucalyptus Spearmint soap, like just right at the nostrils, because it also has some moisturizer in it. So I just like put it right here, like you would do with Vicks and uh, sat up to sleep and that helped I'll tell you what and with my little space heater on even though I have the heater on in here I don't have a door to actually you know like keep the heat contained to just my room um it does help and then I had my heat blanket on because there's something wrong with my right arm I think I may have like ripped a muscle but I'm keeping my hand exercised by keeping it moving I'm not giving up on that I, look I'm gonna tell you what I can be sick and I will keep going I will rest for a while but I will keep going I have to be strong I have to keep going um, I should be in a wheelchair but Oh my gosh, it's been almost 11 years now. In a couple of more months, it'll be 11 years that I've been out of a wheelchair. 
There you go. That that's a, an achievement right there. Eleven years out of a wheelchair. Oh my gosh! That's my anniversary of being out of the wheelchair. You'll have to excuse the nose blowing. Cannot be held responsible for the nose blowing that you heard. That is not kid friendly. <laughs> no, seriously, it's not, and that's also not my fault. Oh, my ribs still hurt. See, that's not kid friendly. My shirt is not kid friendly. Fresh to death. That that's death wish copy. Love them, love them. I think I've told you guys before. And my three winners. Okay. Love you guys. Um, and one of them, you know, um, my second winner since I was butcher her <laughs> last name, Sharon. Uh, like, people have been complimenting her on her poncho that I made. Um, and now they're like, oh, do you think she'll make me one? Try asking. Just as a reference, <laughs> just as a reference, let me know before giving out my info. I need to know this. Just like, or just have them contact me through you. That's cool with me. Um, because I don't give out my info to everybody that I don't know, you know? Excuse me. Keeps the world safer. Um, does. <sighs> what can I say? Okay, well, you know, that's going on. Am I going to put this as kid friendly? No. Am I going to put all my content as kid friendly? No. Why? Because my channel, my channel had been. Um, harassed by kids that should not have been harassing my channel. First of all, where the freak are your parents? And they were teenagers. Where the freak are your parents? Why aren't they disciplining you? Oh, that's right, because they're kids themselves. A lot of these teenagers running around right now, not a lot of them, and I'm not going to say everything, Every kid in this generation is bad because there are some real parents out there that will discipline their kid. Okay? They will not let their kid get out of line. Trust me. My youngest son, he will not let his adopted son get out of line. No. If he gets out of line... He's restricted from his electronics. There you go. He's restricted from that and he gets grounded. Yeah, that's right. Restricted and grounded. Until he says further. Until further notice. And that's why the boy doesn't get out of line. See, I taught him well. If you get out of line, you're grounded and you're restricted. I catch you trying. Guess what? You gotta suffer longer. It's not about hitting them. No. But you gotta teach them right. Gotta earn it. Gotta earn your right. Should we have to suffer because YouTube had a lawsuit against them for tracking children? Absolutely not. Um, we should not have to suffer because of what they did. Uh, Google was told by Steve Jobs. If you're going to be 
become something great or make something great of yourselves, don't mess it up. They messed it up. <laughs> and then later on, you know, Steve Jobs died. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but Google is one of the biggest corporate ent entities out there. And they've been out there since I would say like maybe the 1950s, 1960s. Working in the medical community, doing medical studies. Now, see, this is something Google does not want you to know. You know it now, though. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. They may come up to my door and shoot me. But, <laughs> now you know. They've been doing, um... Uh, <clears throat> medical studies for years part of them had been with Temple University that's right in Philadelphia Penn Hospital yes Penn Medicine Albert Einstein Hospital where in today's world, they're not that smart. Um, also, uh, Jefferson University. Yeah. But Jefferson cut themselves loose from them because they just didn't like what was going on. And they tried to hook up with Shriners, but Shriners said yes at first. And that was about the time I was a Shriners kid, which may explain a few things. Which may actually, that, that might explain a lot of what was going on when I was a Shriners kid and it's scary to think of why would they take me and three times a day draw eight vials of blood and when I got sick of them or you know one of the nurses said you know I'll just throw you in an ice bath and take what I want can you imagine that that's very scary and Google was a part of this. Google was a part of this. In medical studies. And now they want to change things. Well, let me tell you. It's not our fault. It's their fault. They've been tracking kids for years. I've been tracking kids for years. Why do they even have YouTube kids? They partnered with Facebook. They they took over you, you Yahoo. They bought Yahoo and changed it. Um they're on everything. The only thing I can can say that they're not on and maybe I'm glad that they're not is on the Lenbio the Lenbio which contains Cortana but mine was hacked I'm still working on trying to get it back up and running um, and that's why I'm on this one It's not a Google. You actually have to download Google in order to use it on the Lenvio. And the Lenvio is a good terabyte when a Chromebook... <sighs> a Chromebook is... Unless you go with 
the more updated one, it's not even a terabyte. It's a little crap. It's a piece of crap. It'll keep the hackers at bay for a while. Trust me, I kept them at bay for a while. <laughs> Just for a little while. Uh, took them months. Took them months to crack into this one. Um, my Lembio, they decided to crack into it right away. And that's pretty damn sad because they stole my medical information off of it. Hope they had fun finding out that I'm black and Native American. Especially since it's black. Um, on my files. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty sad that Google is this huge corporate entity out here. They want to try to change people. Well, how about if you change the way you conduct yourself as a business? Because you made people think that you started in this little garage next door to somebody else. The truth is, that's not how it was. That is not how it was. And now the truth is going to be out here. Because that's not how it was. And you should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm going to mark all of my content not kid friendly. How about that? And you know why I'm going to do that? I want to be able to have AdSense eventually. Because they're going to take away everybody's ability to have AdSense. Just so you know, I want everyone to be aware of this. If you do not market not kid friendly, they will take away your ability to have AdSense. You will no longer be able to live stream. I don't live stream anyway. But you will no longer be able to live stream. Just please understand. I want to make sure that my fellow YouTube creators do not have to suffer. Because YouTube, Google, has decided to make us suffer for something they did. It's not something we did. It's something they did. They geolocated children. And that wasn't us. It was them. That makes them look like the perverts. Excuse me. No, I'm not going to throw up. I was just burping. Um, it makes them look like the stalkers and the perverts. And the weirdos. That's exactly what they are. They're stalker perverted weirdos. So, you know, just putting that in perspective, this is not... My channel will not be labeled kid-friendly because I plan on having a huge future for my channel. I have... I have plan for my channel. I really do. I have plans for my channel. And if you're letting your kids, I mean, maybe if it's like, you know, you're sitting there together and let's say it's channels like Kicking It With Chris. All right. I love your channel. Your kids are great. Your husband's great. You're all great. Okay, the Paulson family. They're a great family, okay? There are a few families out there that, you know, they're really great together on YouTube. But not all their content is made to be kid-friendly. And I'm just going to use them as an example. They're not necessarily... i got a hangnail, sorry. Um, they're not necessarily meant to always be kid-friendly. Or maybe they just don't think that, you know, I don't know. It's, 
maybe sometimes you just wish that people would discipline their kids. Keep their kids in line. They keep their kids in line. Why can't you keep your kids in line? Giggles Giggles takes care of her kids. They aren't allowed to pull that. And they're little kids. They aren't allowed to do that. She's a good mother. Just Ann. She's a good mom. Her kids are teenagers, but they're responsible. See, now there's a difference there. She has responsible teenage children. And they wouldn't be pulling this crap on people. No. Oh, I gotta get comfortable. My backers. Oh, that was my knee. See? That is not kid-friendly. Pain. Not kid-friendly. Um. Anyway, guys. I'm gonna go. I need to get some sleep. I have to get up early anyway. Brush out my hair because we all know this is a mess. <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys know. And I'm putting this video up tonight before I go to bed. Obvious. Um, and there was another video I was going to put up. But I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. There's a phony doctor on YouTube going around trying to get people to be like her. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. And we're not going into that either. And she's not kid friendly. I hope they bump her off of Sephora. We need to talk because she came at you and you need to, like, come at her. Come on. You need to come at her. Um, because she was going at Jeffree Star. Oh, yeah, there you go. She was going at Jeffree Star. Yeah, she needs to, she needs to banish. She needs to be banished from YouTube. Um, she does. See, people like that, the woman is, um, skinnier than Eugenia Clooney and it's scary and she's trying to convince other people to be like her and no we don't know no and she's claiming to be a doctor I checked her out phony baloney phony baloney anybody can print out a piece of paper and pretend to be a doctor yeah, that's right. I can do it too, but hey. I don't want to be stupid. Um, I can sew. You guys know that one. I And I can knit and I can crochet and I can cook. And um, there's some other things that I can do. Uh, oh, there... There's so much stuff I can do. I don't know what I don't know what to do yet. But I can be positive. And I can also tell you guys that this is still not going to be labeled as a kid-friendly channel. Like I said, you know, if you're going to be responsible with your kids, hey, that's great. You do that, please. Uh, and I'm not trying to be harsh on people. I just want to come to an understanding is I'm not going to lose my channel just because people refuse to to monitor their kids. Monitoring your kids is not my responsibility. Learning starts at home. So with that said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And do YouTube creators a favor. Discipline your own kids, because I'm not their babysitter. And neither is the rest of YouTube. 